Hey, welcome. Ozzy here. In this video, I'm going to talk about like how we can create this type of, you know, subscription form in your website. Now, currently, I'm using newspaper uh, Eleven theme, and if you're using any different theme or any others, then you can follow these tips. It's working for every single theme or every single website. It can be WordPress. It can be a different CMS. It can be anything. Um, now, I'm using here newspaper Eleven because this is my client website and. Uh, I was making this video because of I get a problem. The problem is this subscription form is not working. And I try to find out the solution on newspaper forum and also YouTube. No one upload this type of video. Uh, so that's why I think, okay, let's make it. And previously I was thinking like, okay, let's try to upload big video, at least big. But after this I realized, okay, I need some time for making a big tutorial because now I'm a little bit busy. Uh, you need two things that I'm just meaning here. One website is Convertful. I already have an account in here. Let me go to here. Um, and go on Kitamoto and just uh, Convertful. You have to come to the website and you have to create an account. Basically, this is not free, but it's free uh, up to 3000 page view. And uh, when it is going to Yuli Pack, or uh, you're just going to buy it, then it's just a little bit, you know, uh, it's a little bit ex expensive, you can say. Uh, but it's okay. If you have a visitor, enough visitor, or you are earning money, then okay, you can spend the money. All right, so you have to first create an account and convert full. I will have an account. And the second thing that is like, uh, you need another account that is like, where do you want collect the email address so if you're free if you want to free then you can move on here the mailchimp i think mailchimp is the best now because it's, it can be 2000 up to 2000 is free and you also have some other like an kit and some other things that if you want to use then you can use it and you also have weber and many more you know you can choose any other that means you can directly collect all the emails into your mailchimp account it can be mailerlite it can be anywhere else. So first of all, uh, let me talk about like how we can integrate the site. So I already added a site. So let me delete here the site. So I delete it. And now you will get to see like this. So let's click on here the add site button. And you have to put here the domain name. Let me copy here the website domain name. This is the domain name. Just copy and put here the CMS like uh, WordPress or if you have using anything else Wix on custom CMS if you have the custom CSS sorry CMS then you also can put here uh, alright so that's good let's click on site category which type of site you have so it's like a block magazine and media here is the domain name here is the site platform let's click on add site button and connect your WordPress site. They're giving us via plugin. You can add it. So here is the Convertful plugin. Just click on here. Then you will be redirected on this page. Just copy it. Let's come back again here. The plugin. Click on Add New. And paste here the plugin name that you copy. Or you can search here Convertful only. You have to install this plugin and you have to activate this plugin, right? So when you successfully activate this plugin just click on install plugin and uh, find out here find out here convert full so i get it here and first of all let me uh, connect check the connection just click on here check the connection if you want or connection later that's it when you check connection later you have to come here the wordpress website and just click on here convert full setting then they just showing us uh, okay so let me first disconnect this website uh, because I was connected before so when you come here tools and convert full then you will get to see like this type of option like connect to convert full just click on here then it's just showing uh, approval or not I just select here approve and now currently if you see I also log in in here my convert full account that's why I get an approve option easily so now this website is successfully connected with convert full and now if I click on here this create wizard 
I can create a widget. It's a lot of widget that you can use. Many people use this like this, you know. Many people use this. So you can use anything else. So uh, in this case, I'm just going to add here in light widget because I just need something, you know, static. Um, so let me find out which one is real perfect. I can add anything that is uh, that look like the symbol or something. Uh, I can add anything, okay? So I think this is the perfect thing, simple subscription in line form. Or you can choose, I think this one is better, but I think it's having an image, so we don't have to move on an image. Uh, it's also simple, creating line. Um, and it's also simple. We can also change here the text, okay? It's also we can. Okay, let's click on the creating line button, this one. And now we're getting to see like this. And here's the Thompson privacy policy. I don't really want this, just delete it. And here, I don't, okay, so I just need a little bit of description here. And I have to type your, uh, you know, sub subscribe. So let me go to here, the website, the homepage that I can show you. Scroll down. And then if you come here, you have to use another plugin. It's called Font Ninja. If you search on Google, Font Ninja Chrome extension, Font Ninja. I think I typed wrong something. Okay, this one. Font Ninja. Then you have to install this plugin. And when you install this, you'll get like this and here the extension in here at the top. So first time when it's going to add the extension, you will get to see like it's just going to come in on and it is going to visible. Unvisible, not visible. Unvisible. So what you have to do, you just you have to pin this pin this extension, then you will get to see here. Just click on the click on the icon and then hover on, then you'll get to see here the font name and line height and here also and here also. So they're using here Monsterth font. So now we just, you know, confirm that they're using Monsterth. So here the left side, you'll get to see all the, you know, customize option that you can use the new element. You can do customization and many more things. Just click on here. And then you can see here we're getting to see here the type. We can see the type. We can also change here, here the font name, uh, as you can see. Also, you can change here the font family. I just, I want this is a little bit closer, 40. And the font size will be white because I want to change here the widget color into black something because my footer color is black. That's why I want everything is black. So let me make it a white something. Um, yep, white. All right, so uh, I put a subscribe and uh, let me make it bold. Oh yeah, it's bold now. Uh, yep, it's good. Let's move on here. The website. Let me copy here the website name. You know this description. Sorry, and just Control C and Control V. Change here the font's name into Monty Montserrat. And now we're getting to see like this. But I recommend 13 pixel because I see here previously they're using 13 pixel and also if you see here this is 18 pixel so let's go back again here oh, okay okay that's i just duplicate it here oh control z is not working so let me delay it click on and it's just going to 18 pixel i just try to keep it as as like you know same something let's go to the, the full field and inside of the field they're using this color so let's go to color picker you can search here um, color picker, color picker extension. Extend. Oh, it's not. It's color picker. It's called Colorzilla. Colorzilla. It's a Colorzilla Chrome extension. Install it. Let's come back again here. Copy into uh, here the pin icon, and just need this you know background color in here, but it's not working. Is it all working? Okay, okay, okay. It's not working. I don't know why, but some of the time it's not working really. Uh, okay, we can do one technique that is like we can just crop it, and we can open it here a new tab, and just click on here color Zilla plugin, and this is the color code that is just I want. Let's come back again here. Field and text color in here that you can see here the text color is will be like white something and background color it just going to 
be this. Yep, now it's can look like this, but they're raising in a border, I think. So we don't really need the border radius. And all, we don't really need the border also. Okay, I think I add here fill padding, unfortunately. Nope, it's okay. Border radius is not necessary. Okay, let's see how it's look like now. I think previously it was good. The white color. So let's keep it white. Um, let me go back. Okay, this since we are not saving anything, so let's click on again here. Oh, okay, everything was same. Oh my god, everything was same. Subscribe. Let me do it again. Alright, so I already changed everything in here, but I think we just have to change here the font family into Mons Monty Monsirath. And now it's look like and uh, we can make it bold uh, like yep, we can make it bold. Oh, you did bold now All right, so everything's okay now. Let's click on save changes because I don't wanna you know <laughs> Reset everything again. All right, so let's go to here the widget because in widget we have to do one thing again that is where we change here the padding so I just make it zero zero and here's the top we can make it 10 and here the bottom we can make it 10 uh, it's perfect but in bottom we can make it zero I think um, it's okay I think zero would be perfect something or we can make it a five at least and now we are getting to say like this okay all right so let's click on here the inactive button to activate it and let's go to CSS you get it you can put your CSS and here's the element if you want to add anything else that you can do it and this is the mobile version and this is the desktop version and the setting uh, and it also have a display rules uh, so it's so much interesting something and also one thing let me t show you that is like if you go to my channel I think previously I was uploaded in a, a video about convertful let me go let me copy it here let's click on here the search button all right so previously one year ago I think I was at here uh, and uh, Another video about convertful. I highly recommend to you if you have time, then you can watch also this one. All right, so you can watch this. Uh, all right, so let's move on again. So here's the condition. So this widget was submitted at okay, so 90 days. Uh, okay, so this is basically don't show if if someone submitted it, then they will not get to see this uh, 90 days. But I just want to show them every single day no condition in here because this is going to come in a footer and also if you come if you see here that this is having a short code just copy the short code come back again here the newspaper template uh, site now we're currently using an a uh, you know uh, template so I just come here cloud template and here are the footer template I just want to integrate so here just over on the three dot and just click on here edit with TLD button and come here then I just want to put here in this in this in this corner so just click on the add new button and just search here uh, text and also text with title you just drag and drop here this one and just click on edit content click on text paste here the code click on save go back again your website view site then you will get to see we are successfully get the same thing that we now recently updated in here. Um, but one thing, if you see carefully that uh, uh, this color, it's not look like uh, this type of bright, right? So we can also change here a little bit um, this color. Uh, it can be the font color into, we can change a little bit opacity like this and we can make it save changes then you don't have to do anything in here right so when it's going to change anything else just reload then you will get to see all the updates on here so i think it's not look like similar something but we can uh re reduce a little bit you know you know just a little bit here the opacity so this is the color and this is the opacity how much do you want so i think now it's gonna okay and it's look perfect and it's coming up yep and if someone now they put here the email address you will get okay so now it's just coming on and uh, they will reload it they will get to see again okay they will get to see their email address in here 
Yeah, this is really good, uh, I think. And you can put here the name that you can see before. Uh, I'm not going to add anything. And I can see here my all the subscriber and I can export them. And also, I tell you, if you want to get anything else, if you want to collect your mails and MailChimp, just click on here MailChimp and just log in your account or you can put your API key uh, that you have or just click on the next button. Then you can put here the username and password. Then you can directly uh, connect your account into here, right? So it's just showing us allow or not allow. So I'm not going to add it now. So here's the analytics. You can see here how many people are just do the year, and also it can be the widget. And also one thing that uh, since it is going to cut here the impression, right? It's just it's just going on like as an impression, three thousand impression. Then this free thing will be off. So. Um, I just recommend to you, you can uh, do something like, so let me click on here inline again. I think this is my my technique. I'm just thinking about this. I don't know what you will get to think. Just click on delete it and also just remove it. Just make it safe. Come back again here. The Here the uh, it's called um, newspaper. And I just tell you that just delete all okay so okay 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 oh my god okay so one thing if you remove it then this thing will be gone right so you can put like this type of thing that uh, now i put here let me click on here and go to text and as you can say i type little bit you can see that means uh if you remove it your user can see like this for example this is the text and this is the box right so i'm not going to save it now because uh, since my it's a client website so uh, if she or he want to see anything else then i have to show that's why i'm not deleting it but now i just put here a little bit text and also i just put here uh, the widget only so what happened we can now set here the display rules that means uh, i don't want to show them like in 90 days uh, if they su successfully submitted it, then they will not get to see this widget, right? And uh, they will get to see here only this, this text only, or only this text only. So I think this is the useful technique uh, since you are, uh, if you are going to use the Canvatful. So I hope guys, now you understand. And if you have any question about Canvatful, MailChimp, and Newspaper 11, then please let me know. I will try to make different video and if you want to watch about newspaper different video newspaper just search on newspaper then you will get to see uh, some of the video in here newspaper home page customization newspaper footer problem i also fixed in here one year ago and now one year later currently i'm making another video about newspaper thank you for watching uh, if you're not subscribed my channel so we can s do subscribe it will be helpful for you because in later i'll try to upload a more video about wordpress web development and any other things so do subscribe now